Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 40 in chapter 11. Chapter 11 is about angular momentum. So in this problem, we look at this system. For this system, we can see we have the two uh, mass. They are identical. The mass is given. These two objects, they rotate along the y-axis, right? And the distance from the mass and the rotation axis is given. 0.24 meter and the angular velocity is also given 4.5 radians per second so first one we need to find is the angular momentum for this system so how can we do that we consider angular momentum for the system it is r cross p remember it's a vector now we can we see if we, because we want to find r cross p p is momentum p should equal to mass times v it looks like we need to find v first right we need to find v first how can we find v v is omega times r now we get the mag magnitude for the v now we can see for this system the angular momentum should include two parts first part for a second part for b right so in this one we have r cross P R cross P for A and B. Now we write it, uh, it in this uh, table. If we write it is in table, we can see how can we do that? We look at this uh, picture. So for this table, we can see the object A. This is the rotation axis, right? So the position for this object, first one the x axis is negative 0.24 it is at zero and then is negative x and for the y you can see it is above the y so it is 0.21 meter right this one because the total length is 0.42 meter so half of this this one is just 0.21 and the k the z is zero and then we look at the velocity for this object we can see because it is rotated in this way, rotated in this way. So when is this side, this uh, object will move out. When it moves out, it's positive of Z, right? So this is a V. Similarly, we look at object B. Object B, first uh, axis is uh, po positive, right? 0 0.24 at there. And then the Y axis, this is uh, Y equal to 0 the center mass, so this one is negative 0 0.21, the z component is 0. And then, because it is rotated in this way, so this object will move in. When it moves in at the z-axis, it is negative way, right, negative way. Now we solve these two tables, get the final answer there. It's not so difficult, but it's fine, right? Now, the second one, we look at the b. The B, we need to find the angle between the L and the rotation axis. So in this time, we get the vector for L. And if we plot a picture, it is this one. It is in the X and the Y plane, right? X and the Y plane. So angle theta is this one. The L with the rotation axis. So we can see how can we find this. This, look at this triangle. This is the L X. This side is L Y. So angle theta is arctangent X L, L X divided by L Y. Then we get final answer there. Thank you.